welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm making my Christmas candles. Now I did a candle video before where I got a kit and I really enjoyed it so much that I've now got myself the bits and pieces and I'm going to make six candles to start with because they're going in people's stockings and they're all going, well they're not all going to be different flavours, there's going to be two different flavours. There's going to be Sea Breeze, which is that one. I wish you could smell it. Oh, it smells beautiful. And there's going to be Forrester. And this is from this set of fragrance oils. And I will link everything that I use today in the description below. Don't worry. So that I can ensure that if you want to get hold of it, then you can. I'm using a double boiler to melt the wax with. And I'm using premium eco soya wax to make the candles with. I didn't have enough of these, made some out of some wooden sticks like this. Just drilled a little hole in and put them in there so I can suspend the sticks over and make all six in one go to colour the candles so they're not all white. I've got the colours here. And again, I will link those in the description below. I really enjoyed candle making and they smell absolutely beautiful and they're very satisfying, a bit like the soap making. I'm also going to be using these preformed wicks. So I'm going to get six of those out and then put them in here and I'll be using these double sided like wick sticky thing. Now I have been told that once you get really good at candle making and do it more then you calculate what the size is of the candle and everything I'm not at that stage yet so I'm just using these <laughs> I'm giving that a good push down and then let's see if that works oh look it works a treat ideal that is I'm also going to personalize each one of these with some stickers around the outside and on the lids as well well, this is on its way to melting. I'm going to put some of this in because I'm not actually sure how much of this you need to put in. I don't know how concentrated it is. And this is the green one. If I put some in now, then that will give me some sort of idea of how dark a green that that's going to be as it melts in with the rest of the wax. I've prepared everything else and all I have to do now is put the Forrester fragrance oil in and I'm not going to put that in until the wax has melted because I really don't want to risk burning off the oil so the fragrance goes because I did learn last time that I had to put in a lot more of the fragrance than I thought I would have to put in to make it smell and certainly to be able to make it smell once the candle's been lit. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for any of my videos and help support this channel and allow me to buy all these sorts of things, the link for that is in the description below. And you'll get your name on my coffee board for next month as well. And also, boop that like button. It really does help my videos to get out there. Well, that has coloured that quite well, but I have taken a bit out, as you can see here, because I did put far too much in which is a great lesson learned. I know now when I do the blue one, I don't need to put nowhere near as much as that in. So I'm gonna leave that now to melt up and then I'll add the fragrance. I'm going to put in the forest fragrance and I'm gonna put in quite a bit of this one. Give that a nice stir up. And then pour that into the tins. Take water off the edge of that first. And I'll leave those now to go hard. And what I'll do is I will clean this out and then put the rest of the wax in and do the other three with the blue in exactly the same way. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do to label all the tins and everything. While they're setting up the candles, I'm going to prepare my labels. And what I've decided to do is people's names on the outside with the fragrance and also a little picture on the top. 
So it's easy to get the names. All you do is you click the text bar, a text will come up. You can decide what sort of pattern that you, what sort of text that you want to have. So as you can see here, the text has come up. And so my son, I'm gonna put his name in there first. And I want a quite a nice text. Now I pay the monthly fee to have all the text and everything on the cricket. I feel that I get much, I get a lot of value out of it. And I quite like that. I think that looks really, really nice. And I'm going to cut that out of silver. I don't need it that large. I want it about four centimeters width. Well, maybe four and a half. And his other one is Forrester. So all I'm going to do is duplicate that and put Forest there. So I double click on that once it's duplicated, it will bring up the little box and there we are. So we've got Jordan and Forest. Now I'll, I'll keep those separate so I can put them on the tin where I want them to be. Well, these have started to cure right up now. They're still slightly warm. Oh, they smell absolutely delicious. And I've got the lids and I've got my names and all that printed off. So I'm going to weed these now. And I've got my son's is the first one I'm doing here. My son's name's Jordan. And it's a forest. So I'm going to put the forest on the back so he knows what flavour it is. And I'm going to put this stocking on his because I really like it. Well, they're all weeded out and ready now. That in there. I think that looks quite cute. <laughs> and then Jordan's name next. I'm gonna try and put this on as neatly as I possibly can. And you did, I mean, you could have made, I could have made a lot more of these if I'd have wanted to. And then the forest on the other side. So he knows what it is, what flavour it is, or what scent it is. I do think people really like and cherish homemade gifts as well. I think there's something a little bit more personal about them and, and a bit more caring. And there we go. We've got homemade, lovely scented candles in nice tins. And to be honest, making all these probably, by the time I finish them all, will have taken me two hours. Well, I've finished all these now and I'm really pleased with how they've come out. I think they look great. I think people will like these. They smell absolutely delicious. They were really simple to make. They didn't take long at all. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to boop that thumbs up. I will link the video at the end of this one on my very first attempt at making candles in moulds and you can check that one out as well. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.